I quit. Number one, reading. Discuss. What do you think the worst job in the world it is? In your opinion, what is the worst job in the world? in the world Which of the following make people not like their job? These two questions. These two questions are for discussion. So I'll do the best for discussion. Okay. Is it salary? هل هو salary الراتب اللي بيخلي الناس ما بيحبوش ممكن يخلوا some people like their job and the other don't like the job or working hours أو ساعات العمل. The employer, employer اللي هو the man who owns the the work or owns the the firm or the company الشخص اللي هو بيمتلك الشركة. Your colleague, routine. Or your workplace, or مكان العمل. Okay, let's read here. لو سمحت. الصوت لو سمحت عندك. موجود عليك. Yes. الصوت الشباب خلاص أنا أفل أفل الصوت عليك كله في قوة كده. Zoo keeper. ده حاجة اسمها شرح عن طريق الإنترنت. زو كيبر اللي هو حارس الحديقة عارفه؟ حارس الحديقة طيب here the first here uh, be read the text quickly and match the names of the people with the job they are describing two people are describing the same job here we want to read uh, the text and read the text quickly and match the names and the names of the people with the job they are describing الوظيفة اللي هم بيتكلموا عنها two people are describing the same job Larry, Dan, Faisal and Willie Larry maybe a zookeeper Dan, factory worker Faisal, call center agent هو هو بيكلمني وادم يا أستاذ محمد فتحي محمد فتحي اكتب الصوت معلش شباب عشان في معانا ناس معانا ناس من مصر كمان تمام يا استاذ حظني بالله انا زياد اوكي حاضر سعد حتى انا انا سعد الجبرين حضرني ماشي سعد حاضر اخذ الغياب برضه في الاخير من وين يلا حبايبي هير اياك يلا طيب اوكي لوك اند ليسن لوك اند ليسن 3D I quit 1 reading job for someone's got to do it Tell us your bad job experiences. It can't be that bad, can it? I once worked at a sweet factory, putting sugar on sweets and biscuits. I thought it would be nice because I was a big fan of sweets. Well, I used to go home with sugar in my hair, up my nose and in my ears. It was disgusting and the smell was so strong that I couldn't get used to it. I only lasted a week, but one good thing did come out of my experience. By the time I left, I had given up sweets altogether. Larry Mitchell, Southampton. I worked for one summer at a safari park. I liked feeding the pink. 3D. Okay, from the beginning. I quit. I quit. One. Hmm. Reading. Job forum. Mm -hmm. Someone's got to do it. Tell us your bad job experiences. It can't be that bad, can it? I once worked at a sweet factory, putting sugar on sweets and biscuits. I thought it would be nice because I was a big fan of sweets. Well, I used to go home with sugar in my hair, up my nose and in my ears. It was disgusting and the smell was so strong that I couldn't get used to it. I only lasted a week, but one good thing did come out of my experience. By the time I left, I had given up sweets altogether. 
Larry Mitchell, Southampton. I worked for one summer at a safari park. Okay, now, okay now we're going to listen again. I quit. Again. Okay, the last time. One. Job for. Someone's got to do it. Tell us your bad job experience. Experiences. It can't be that bad, can it? I once worked at a sweet factory, putting sugar on sweets and biscuits. I thought it would be nice because I was a big fan of sweets. Well, I used to go home with sugar in my hair, up my nose and in my ears. It was disgusting and the smell was so strong that I couldn't get used to it. I only lasted a week, but one good thing did come out of my experience. By the time I left, I had given up sweets altogether. Larry Mitchell, Southampton. Thank I worked for one summer at a safari park. I liked feeding the penguins and the other animals in general, but cleaning up after them wasn't much fun as you can imagine. The worst job I had was in the monkey reserve. You see, as visitors drove through, monkeys usually climbed on their cars for a free ride. At the exit of the reserve, one of us had to stop the monkeys from getting into the next reserve. I can tell you, chasing monkeys around with a stick in the middle of the summer is not fun at all. Dan Given, Hemsby. So now we have finished. My job can be really hard sometimes, okay, as it involves again. taking customers' orders. So here we finished uh, the passage about Larry and the passage also about Dan uh, Given. So now we're going to uh, move to another uh, two persons to know what are their jobs. My job can be really hard sometimes as it involves taking customers' orders answering calls and in general dealing with people on their complaints. You see, I work at a call center and the things I have to put up with are awful. Just because people can't see you face to face, they think it's okay to be rude. It was really difficult in the beginning, but by the end of the first month, I had learned not to take it too personally. Once I got so angry with a customer, I shouted back at him. And it almost cost me my job. Fezal Ahmed, Jeddah. I often remind myself, no matter how bad things get, they could be worse. I could still be working there. I don't know how I lasted a month at the box factory. I'd had enough before the end of the first week. It was exhausting on the body. But what it did to your mind was most worrying. Boring just isn't a strong enough word. I worked with a man who'd been there for 20 years. He told me he dreamt of boxes. He saw boxes when he closed his eyes. Hello. Are you on? Assalamu alaikum. Alex, okay. Hello, sir. I'm Abdul Majid, Abdul Majid, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, So now we listen to the to the four persons. So I'm going to let's talk again. Who were talking about their jobs? It's the man of the Ashkas, who were kind of with Kalamun and A and Ozaifun. And we know <coughs> what was uh, <coughs> what what were the jobs of uh, each one. So we're going to move to another point. And he even tasted boxes when he ate. <clears throat> okay, I read the text quickly and match the name of the people with the job they are describing. Two people are describing the same job. Larry. <clears throat> Larry is a zookeeper, Dan, factory worker, Teresa, call center agent, Willie, call center agent. So, Larry, zookeeper. Who works as a zookeeper? Mini Bishagal as a zookeeper is Dan. Factory worker, Larry and Willie. Factory workers, 
are Larry and Willie. Call center agent, Faisal. Faisal is a call center agent. <coughs> Write them in your book. Write them in your book. Yalla. Next, yes, sir. Hi. Have you finished? <clears throat> okay, here, read again and write L for Larry, D for Dan, and F for Faisal or W for Willie. The first one here, number one, I worked there for a month. Who worked for a month? Mm. Look at the passage in your book and try to find the correct answer. Who worked there for a month? Many who worked for a month. في مكان. Many who can be told about themselves. Who can be told about themselves that he worked. Worked for a month. Number two. Number two. Hey guys. Okay, the one who worked there for a month uh, is Willie. I soon got used. I soon got used to it. Who said this statement? Who said I soon got used to it? Min al kida. Min al I soon got used to it. Is it Larry, Dan, Faisal, or Willie? <clears throat> Try to try to skim uh, the passage. Okay, the man who said about that, I soon got used to it, uh, was Faisal. Faisal who said that. Faisal said, I got, um, I soon got used to it. Write it in your book. I was happy when I lost my job. Who said I was happy when I lost my job? Faisal. Faisal said that. Okay, take your time. The man who said that I was happy when I lost my job is Willie. Willie who said that. Yeah. Because his employer uh, employer uh, had fired him. Fired him, it means, uh, it means uh, that he didn't work again. I enjoyed part time, part of my job. I enjoyed the part of my job. Who said I enjoyed the part of my job? The man who said that it's reading. It's uh, Dan. Dan who said that that I enjoyed part of my job. Number five, my job helped me improve my health. My job helped me improve my health. Larry said that I still have the same job. I still have the same job. The man who said that is Faisal. I worked there for less than a month. I worked there for less than a month. Who said that was Larry also? Okay, moving to another point. Here, number number D, find words or phrases in the text that mean the following so now you will be given uh, sentences which has uh, sentences which have um, new words for you and tr you, you are going to try to uh, guess the meaning or get the meaning of these new words from your passage or from the passage so the first sentence is extremely unpleasant Extremely unpleasant, disgusting, disgusting. It means extremely unpleasant. Something which is awful. Something which is very bad. 
شيء سيء معناها ديزجست يا استاذ محمد يا استاذ محمد لو سمحت الصوت يا برضه طيب نمبر 2 an area of land that is protected an area of land that is protected منطقه او مساحه من الارض that is protected محميه <تصفيق> An area of land that is protected is that is reserved. Uh, a thin piece of food stick, except something that is annoying without complaining, put up with. Accepting something that is annoying without complaining. أو تتحمل شيء بدون ما تشتكي it's put up with help somebody remember something تساعد شخص إنه هو يتذكر شيء it means remind really tiring really tiring from Willy هنا جاب لك طبعا the new word and the passage which the new word is from exhausting so I think now we finished the, the reading lesson. Moving to a uh, student book, page 40. But now I'm going to end this uh, class. Honey, that's Dawat, and I'm going to explain page 40 after uh, 10 minutes. Okay? But I shall be here. I shall be الو استاذ معاك معاك تمام اوكي في ناس خلصنا كده بيش فورتي وي فينيش ده انا خلصت لغايه عبد المجيد الخريف اللي هو رقم 14 اللي بعد مني بقيت الغياب مين كان حاضر طيب استاذ نعم سعد سعد المفروض جه وما ادانيش اسم آه عادي ترجع بما ان تشهدت بعد 10 دقائق عادي ترجع الساعه على السؤال رقم دي حاضر اوكي ثانية بس أنا عايز بيت الغياب عايز بيت الطلاب أسماء الطلاب فين فين الباقي طيب إدي بيت الغياب يا شباب الله يعطيك العافية الله يبارك فيك بعد سعد المطرود مين تاني يا جماعة ما ادانيش الغياب طيب خلاص اوكي okay.